hello everyone welcome back to another video tutorial and in this video tutorial I will talk about the microgrid operation over multiple time periods so before we move on let me assure you something that you must have a basic understanding of MATLAB and optimization concepts and for that I already have made a videos on my YouTube channel you may go and take a look at that or you may explore through the I button in the top right section so before we move on let me first talk about the microgrid so microgrid is basically a localized electrical grid that can operate independently or in conjunction with the main power grid Typically, it includes power sources like solar panels, batteries, and sometimes backup generators. So basically, microgrids are designed to provide reliable and resilient power supply to a specific area such as campus or industrial facility. And in this MATLAB code, which you can see right over here, which I will explain in a moment later. So in this moment, uh, multiple time periods are considered, uh, five time periods are considered. So, and this is a generic example. So it includes the factors like demand response and uh, battery efficiency, battery capacity, solar generation and the battery degradation cost. So these factors are considered uh, right over here and uh, this is uh, works in uh, in the in a way of iterative method. And uh, this is uh, the example uh, where a uh, sim uh, simple a simple microgrid with lower demand solar generation a battery and grid electrical capacity for five time periods are considered and uh, one more thing uh, which is important to note that uh, that this is very basic example of the whole concept or idea how this will works and this MATLAB code which I will provide you is for the basic understanding and the real world microgrid optimization often involves more sophisticated optimization techniques and take into account various constraints and objectives so just keep it in mind that this is a simple variant so you can just understand it and this MATLAB code will not be accurate for the real time problem okay so let's get started so in the start of that uh, here uh, we have low demand for five times we have considered and solar generation forecast so let's assume that uh, we divide over eight hours when we have available uh, solar eight or ten hours into five time intervals and for the first time interval we have 30 kilowatts available as a solar generation forecast and then we have uh, for second uh, let's assume that this uh, one is around 9 am and this is around 10 to 11 am when we have 40 kilowatts available as solar power and uh, this is the third interval which let's assume is around 12 uh, at noon and similarly we have other two intervals and battery capacity we can assume as maximum 200 initial battery state let's assume it's at 50 percent of the charge and uh, grid price for dollars per kilowatt battery efficiency and battery degradation cost and let me uh, talk about the battery degradation cost so for this interval uh, the cost is considered to be a constant value of 0 0.02 dollars per kilowatt meaning that for every kilowatt hour 
of energy that passes through the battery whether it's charge or discharge there is a cost of 0.02 dollars so associated with the battery degradation so this is a simplified assumption for the sake of illustration and the ease of the understanding and later on here is uh, simple to define the variables to uh, just uh, checking the number of the periods and battery states for each uh, time period we have uh, mentioned the uh, state of battery for each time period and then there is and next uh, it's a uh, grid import uh, the excessive uh, amount of power which we can uh, grid electricity import for each time period uh, which we have to import from the grid uh, in case if our solar generation is less and uh, our batteries are not charged then we have to import from the grid when our demand is high so this is uh, that factor and uh, further there is another factor uh, normally we deal with the in most of the time IEEE 33 and 69 bus system which actually represent large interconnected electrical network and uh, they are used for the research and analysis and the main difference uh, between the uh, IEEE 33, 69 and other such bus systems uh, and uh, the microgrid is that these IEEE bus systems are not localized and do not typically incorporate uh, renewable energy sources or advanced power uh, demand response mechanism. Uh, we do incorporate renewable energy sources separately. So that's actually the main difference between them. So let me start with the MATLAB program. Let me left click here and click on continue. Okay right over here initially battery uh, initial battery state so initial battery state is 50 for the first uh, time period and uh, this battery state will be updated uh, at the end of this loop at the end of this loop right over here battery state will be updated so we have battery state as 50 and uh, we have five number of periods so this will run for uh, uh, five time periods uh, this is actually a simple iterative method but we can import incorporate right over here an optimization algorithm which actually do its job and will do that for the our uh, real time uh, challenging problems for the real time problems so uh, here is just iterative approaches considered here is the available energy so solar generation or t right over here is one so we are just considering the first interval and uh, battery state and the load demand so right over here we have more load demand which is 100 and this have 50 and this have 30 so available energy is right over here is minus 20 so if available energy is less than zero means that we need to import from the grid so right over here just so now we have to import 20 kilowatts from the grid and later on in the next step we will calculate the cost um, as per uh, the grid import uh, we already have uh, the grid price for the first time interval so here is the battery state okay battery state right over here is and here we have updated uh, the battery state with zero because our available energy is less than zero and uh, our battery is not going to update uh, is not going to supply the power and in this case which is not true right over here this is the case when we have available energy and we have to utilize uh, the energy uh, from the battery and this will be uh, in the next cases and next we have the have to calculate the battery degradation cost I already talk about that so battery degradation cost battery state 
and uh, battery capacity by using these factors so battery degradation cost is zero right over here update the battery state for the next time period so these are the factors uh, considered to calculate the next battery state so if t is less than number of time periods so right over here uh, using that parameters we have uh, minus 94.73 which is the battery state for uh, the next interval and let me click on step and now here is the calculation uh, for the total cost uh, for the time period what what is the time period grid import how much uh, we have to import from the grid and the battery state of charge battery degradation cost and the total cost so uh, here is the uh, end of the first time period similarly there is a calculation for the other time periods let me click on continue so right over here all the five time periods are manipulated and uh, there is a difference between uh, the total cost and the results uh, the results difference is that uh, due to these dynamic factors uh, the optima uh, the results such as the amount of grid import battery state of charge and uh, the total cost can vary from one period to another uh, the code actually provides a breakdown of these results for each time period to demonstrate how the microgrid operation adopts to changing conditions so that's how this uh, MATLAB program work I will put the link in the description uh, from that website uh, you can easily download the MATLAB code and uh, please like the video share it and thanks for watching